Hello darling Cancer, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and of course I am coming in with your weekly love reading to kickstart the new year. Happy, happy new year you guys, 2023. It's going to be a great year, I feel it. This is a number seven year, I'm not sure if you are aware but we are in the number seven year and to me number seven has always been a highly spiritual number. It was a number that I was highly drawn to throughout my childhood. And to me, the number seven equates to, you know, spirituality, um, spiritual awakening, spiritual awareness, tapping into your intuition. This might be a great year for you to, you know, tap into your inner wisdom, your higher self, your higher calling. So... Yeah, and I feel with the last reading, Cancer, that I did for you, I feel like I'm connecting to Cancerians who are empowering themselves, who are learning so much, who are developing themselves. And that's why I feel like this year is going to be an awesome year for you, Cancer. So um, let's dive on in. Like, share, subscribe if this reading resonates, guys. Uh, if not, that's okay. Feel free to check out your moon sign, your rising sign and your Venus sign as your messages may be over there. But we're going to see what is surrounding you in love for the upcoming days and week. Okay, Cancer. If you are new to my channel, I'm so glad that you have found me and that you were guided to uh, click onto this video here today. And for those returning subscribers, Cancer, I adore you so much. Thank you for all of your support in 2022. And I look forward to working with you again this year. So let's dive on in. Look at this. First card coming through is the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Spirit, angels and guides, what is surrounding Cancer? Oh, look at this, Cancer. There you are, Queen of Cups. Beautiful. Okay, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords. I'll take the first card that I see, Page of Cups. All right, Cancer, at the bottom of the deck we have the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. All right. All righty, so you're showing up really strong in your reading, I do have to say. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, I feel that you are showing up very strong in your reading, very grounded, standing your ground perhaps here with the Seven of Wands, okay, not backing down um, on your beliefs right now. That's what I'm getting here, Cancer, okay, there's something here that you are solid about. Um, yeah, look at that Queen of Wands, feeling very confident about a decision about a belief here yeah look at that cool calm and collected I love it so I'm just going to pop this here cancer you could be connecting to an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn you could be connecting to a water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces uh, you could be connecting to a fire sign here Aries Leo Sagittarius we've got strong water coming in there may be a fire sign here that is, um, sorry, I'm just trying to adjust the card so we can see them. There may be a fire sign here that wants to reach out and communicate with you. I feel like this person is very attractive, or sorry, is attracted to you is what I want to say. But this Page of Wands is excitable energy. So this is someone who is very excited to take action or come towards you. But I'm also getting very flirtatious energy. I mean, you're coming through strongly as queen energy. This person's coming through as page energy. So t on totally different pages, right? On totally different pages. Um... I feel like there is someone around you here, Cancer, that wants to come in and talk to you. Okay, they want to come in and talk to you. But I do have to say here with the Four of Cups, I'm not sure if they're 
intentions with you here are solid. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't feel like they have an intention to sort of grow something serious here with you because I'm looking at these three cups here. And this woman, she's looking down at the three cups. And the three of cups to me is kind of like casual connections, something casual, uh, maybe just like friends with benefits. And you're, you're coming through as queen energy, okay? So you're not down for casual connections. But I do feel like this person is going to try anyway. Okay, I feel in the recent past or in the past with the two of pentacles in the past position cancer, I feel like there was someone here that did not prioritize you. Okay, this person may have been in between yourself and other people or, or other projects. But it is telling me here with the two of pentacles that this person that you were interacting with or you were dealing with or you were involved with was coming through very wishy-washy and this isn't good for you, okay? This plays with your emotions too much. But like I said, Cancer, you're coming through as a queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. You are emotionally grounded. Okay, you are standing your ground here. You're really confident about this. You're confident, you're passionate about what it is that you want moving forward um, in love. That's it. And look, Queen of Wands, she's got the little pussy cat there right beside her feet. You're intuitively guided. You intuitively know what's going on here. You may even sense that this person is going to reach out Okay, you may even sense, you already feel that um, this person's intentions or interactions with you are very transparent. Okay, now this person with the Nine of Swords here, this person cannot stop thinking about you. I don't know, they're heavily obsessing over you, possibly thinking about you more so of an evening or a night time here. Maybe they're sort of stressing, thinking, if I reach out to cancer, cancer might not respond, cancer. There's something about this person feeling sort of insecure, okay? There's an insecurity coming through. Maybe they feel that you will reject their offer. But that I, I feel like this person is going to try anyway. We've got the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is an energy of someone who's coming through very kind, caring, considerate. But they don't really have a lot to offer right now. Page of Cups, this is someone who's just coming in, seeing if they can just get away with bare minimum. And you know what? This person is in for a really rude awakening and a really rude shock because you're coming through strong queen energy. Okay, you've already, I feel with the Eight of Cups this week, if this hasn't happened already, I feel with the Eight of Cups that you have already emotionally checked out. You've already emotionally checked out. You're not gonna stick around for this kind of treatment, Cancer. You're not sticking around. You may even let this person know, hey, like I'm not down for this. Um, but you, you're definitely going to assert yourself if it comes to that, right? You're definitely going to assert yourself if it comes to that. But you know what I love about you? You're being very down to earth here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups because earth and water, it's a great combo, right? It's a really great combination. You're coming through very emotionally controlled and grounded, very sure of yourself. Um, look, the thing, the thing is, is with this person, You've always been consistent. The Queen of Pentacles, she comes through very consistent. Okay, you've always sort of been, that. You're, you're coming through very reliable and dependable. And um, this person can feel that energy. So let's clarify. I'm just gonna come in with a different deck. And we're going to clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the two of pentacles, please, spirit. 
Okay, Spirit, Angels and Guides. Oh, first card coming through is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. Yeah, look, in the recent past, I feel like this person wasn't offering you something serious or solid here. They weren't committed. They weren't invested. They were very wishy-washy. They were very in and out. Like I said, and this was just like playing, ha you know, playing havoc with your emotions. You know, Cancer's not going to tolerate that for too long. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Spirit, angels and guides, tell us more about the Queen of Pentacles. Look, you've got the Nine of Cups. This is really beautiful. You're in control of your happiness right now. I feel Cancer, wherever you are, wherever you're at, you are coming through with a quiet confidence and you are happy. Okay, this is about your happiness. Um, your happiness is in your hands. And you can see here, the, the Queen of Pentacles, she's, loving, she's holding this pentacle in a very loving way. And this pentacle, this is your happiness. Okay. Um, beautiful energy. Let's clarify the Page of Wands. Spirit, Angels and Guides, tell us more about the Page of Wands. Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, I, something tells me here that you may have known this person for quite some time. Okay, uh, but something happened in the past between you and this person and this person cannot seem to let this memory or this moment go. Okay, something happened between the both of you that maybe they're still not pleased about, uh, maybe they want to come forward and talk about what happened in the past. Maybe this person feels confused, like what, what happened, what went wrong. Um, I feel like they want to talk about something that's happened in the recent past. Maybe, like I said, Cancer, you've had some kind of a shift here. Okay, you're standing your ground. This person may be viewing you as being very distant with them right now. They can't understand why. I feel like they want to talk about this. Okay, let's, uh, sorry, there was a card that was in the reverse here. Let me just find it. What was it? Ah, look at that. Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this person can sense that you've shut your energy down. Okay, you're not as accommodating is what I want to say. I feel like this person can sense that you're not um, as accommodating as you were, as patient as you were. Okay, when the Queen of Cups is in reverse, she doesn't care, she doesn't give a damn. Um, she is shut down emotionally. Um, and this person can sense that. Okay, it doesn't mean that you're cruel or you're kind. I'm not, uh, sorry, it doesn't mean that you're cruel and you're being unkind. I'm not picking that up with you. Okay, but this person can sense that you are not as accommodating or open to them and they can't seem to understand why. There's a Nine of Swords sitting underneath the Page of Wands so that they can't figure it out. They're trying to understand it. They can't figure it out. They're in their head about this. I feel like they're making up stories in their head, which is giving them anxiety or stressing them out. And I feel like they kind of want to talk about this with you. Spirit, angels and guides, can we please clarify the Queen of Cups? Okay, we've got the Ace of Cups. I really love that for you. And there's the Hanging Man. Okay, Ace of Cups and the Hanging Man clarifying the Queen of Cups. I see the Ace of Cups as self-empowerment, self-love. You know your value, you know your worth, you know that you've got a lot of love to give to the right person. Okay, you're not giving your cup of love away to anyone here with the hanging man. The hanging man is suggesting here that Cancer is putting um, her love or his love on pause right now. You're not taking action. You're not doing anything. The hanging man is also seeing things from a different perspective. So I feel this week, Cancer, you're going to see, you know, what you bring to any relationship you're going to see it very differently you're going to see if you haven't seen you know what you can offer 
um, up to this point to the right person, you're definitely going to start seeing that this week. You're going to see how valuable you are. Okay, and it's going to come at a price. You're not just going to give your heart away or your love away to the next damsel in distress or um, the next person that crosses your path. You're like, you're seeing something about yourself this week very, very differently. Uh, and you're seeing it from a higher or elevated perspective. So I feel like this is beautiful. This is like awakening. This is enlightening. I'm seeing the eye here. So you're awakening to something here about yourself. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. Spirit, angels and guides. Yeah. There's a Six of Swords moving forward, looking forward. Okay. Cancer, you're looking forward. Okay. There's no turning back at this point. But there is also someone here that is coming towards you. Oh, look at this, Cancer. <laughs> look at this. There's a little froggy here. <laughs> There's a frog. He wants a kiss. Okay, frogs, toads. Okay, um, you know how they say you got to kiss so many frogs to get your prince? Well, I feel like there is someone here that maybe you have had an emotional connection to, but um, I I'm not getting a good vibe with this frog. Okay, this is someone definitely they're thinking about you, they're coming towards you, they're headed in your direction. But yeah, something drew me to this frog and I don't get a good vibe about the frog. Okay, let's have a look. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Swords coming through. This person wants clarity. Okay, this person wants to clear the air. Maybe they, they want to get a better understanding on... Uh, what's happened or unfolded here they want to hear what you have to say I feel like this person wants to hear what you have to say uh, but I do see something coming out into the open something being expressed this person wants to reach out and communicate here with you let's clarify the page of cups oh one card fell on the ground I'm not going to take that look at this Page of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups in reverse. Mm, interesting, Cancer. Strong water energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like this is someone who is... You know, there. I, I feel like this person is emotionally immature. They're definitely not on the same emotional page as you. You're coming through as the Queen of Cups. They're coming through as the Page of Cups. You're on totally two different pages. Okay, again, I'm getting that this person is coming in trying to get away with uh, bare minimum. I, I feel like this person isn't really coming through with a lot to offer you right now in the way of... Um, emotion I, I just feel like it's just bare minimum that's the best way that I can describe it mm. I'm hearing rose tinted glasses too guys okay so this person is under some kind of an illusion let's just grab another card they're under some kind of an illusion maybe they feel like they think that they can access you like they have in the past the world look at that the world yeah this person is under some kind of illusion i feel like with the world here you have closed out a chapter or closed out a cycle with this person you're you're coming through on top okay you're in a very powerful position here Okay, you've achieved or you're achieving success and victory here. Okay, let's clarify the Eight of Cups, Spirit, Angels and Guides. Yeah, Five of Wands in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. You're looking for a relationship where, where the other person is as invested as you are. You're looking for someone who pours into a relationship 
as much as you do. Okay, whatever you give to a relationship, you're looking for someone who can reciprocate that. Um, and you're walking away from anyone who brings any kind of uh, internal conflict to you. You are walking away from anyone who plays with your emotions or plays with your heart. Okay, you're walking away from drama. You're not interested. If there are other people involved, okay, because the Five of Wands can speak to maybe there are other people involved, okay, there might be other people around, you're, you're, you're not about that. You're not about, you know, hanging around for someone who may have other people fighting for them as well. You're not about that cancer. You're turning your back on that. You want reciprocal love. You want reciprocal investment and you're turning your back on anything other than that. Okay, so let's grab some Romance Angel Oracle cards and see what the angels want to say here today. Just going to give the cards a little bit of a shuffle, Cancer. How does that reading sound to you? Let me know in the comments section below if it is resonating. Okay. All right, first card coming through. Look at this. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So Cancer, that's what you're doing. You're walk, walking away from emotionally unfulfilling relationships or connections because you are calling in someone who is on the same page as you. Nothing more, nothing less. It, but this person is also calling you in too. This person that you have been dealing with, I feel like they're trying to call you in or pull you in. Look at this, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I do get a sense here that this person is addicted to you. On some level, this person is attached and addicted to you because you've always been stable, okay? You've always been sort of a stable influence or a steady influence in this person's life. At the bottom of the deck, we've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. This person does want to talk to you, okay? They do want a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but this is also really great, Cancer, because this is your opportunity to have an open and honest and truthful discussion. Okay, getting clear, getting truthful. It's like, I'm going to tell this person how I feel because when I move forward, I don't want to regret that I didn't say this or I didn't say that. Okay, so it's also your invitation and opportunity for you to get open and honest as well. Okay, and then underneath that, I saw you deserve love. You are lovable. Yes. Look at this woman. She's aiming her bow and arrow okay and you're aiming it towards your soulmate okay you're calling in your soulmate this year cancer so there we have it guys that's your reading i do hope that was insightful and helpful don't forget to let me know in the comment section below happy new year cancer and i will see you very soon bye